God bless you and welcome to our Woman to Woman chat. I'm excited to be here once again. It's Friday and oh, thank God because it's Friday. You know, Amen. Just, <laughs> to add. <laughs> just okay. thank God it's Friday. But uh, but yeah, we're excited. Uh, again, we are talking about the fruit of the spirit. And uh, before we get started, Diana, Amen. you just said it is Friday. I know, and I am happy to be here and I'm glad, you know, thankful that the week is over. It's been one of those week that is since that is just goes home forever but thank god you know he always he's always with us and we have mm -hmm. the blessing to be yes. here one more time to share with you guys you know mm -hmm. every this shots and get your coffee ready yes get ready because this one is a good one um we are uh, studying in galatians 5 22 23 and i always like to read it um, just so everyone that has not seen our previous chats knows what we're talking about. Um, so we're talking about Galatians 5, 22 to 23, and it says like this. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. And we already saw love, joy, uh, and the last one that we saw was peace. And uh, But today we're going to be talking about patience and um, when we talked about love joy and peace um, in the last weeks we've been talking about the different character let me say that word again Char character characteristics sorry <laughs> of the spirit and patience I think I said it, I think last time that it wasn't like my favorite one but it is a very important um, essence of the spirit and um, before you know we start with patience I just want to give a little recap on our previous um, chats and we talked about how the fruit of the Spirit is something that is given to us by God Amen. Uh, when we surrender ourselves to him and it is not something that we can obtain by our own strength mm -hmm. something that we can do uh, through our own power um, another important factor is that it is fruit not fruits. Nine um, characteristics, and they are collectively. Yes. You mm -hmm. know, just all in one. We cannot say that um, that uh, that we don't want this one. We cannot choose um, or say, oh, I want, I have less than or more than this one. And that's why when I always say, well, it's not my favorite one. Um, and the reason I just want to clarify why mm -hmm. I said it's not my favorite one is because I struggle with this one a lot. You know, I, I struggle with, with patience. And the more I study it um, these past weeks, I think the Lord opened my eyes more and kind of showed me um, that, yes, this is something that you need to work on. And I think if you really looked at it, I think everybody, all of us, might struggle with patience because we might think, I may say I'm a really patient person, but mm -hmm. I have patience maybe for some things, mm -hmm. but not for other things mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. might get me going like right away or something that I see something that I'm like, okay, this is not. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a hard one for everybody, you know, have that patience with other people, with day-to-day -day mm -hmm. things that happen that we can't control, mm -hmm. I think. Amen. And um, another thing that we've been talking about is um, for us to be able to develop, you know, this, um, I want to say this, uh, this fruit or, or, or make it, enhance it. Sorry. Just fell. Sorry. Um, is when we develop a closer relationship with God. Um, and we do that through prayer, uh, listening to his word, and um, having a community with other believers, other children of God. And that's how the more we become, and I think this is what one of the things that I was saying, I was kind of struggle with that with patience, because the more we get closer to God and, and we want to be Christ-like, that's when God starts showing you you know where you need to be more vigilant <laughs> and you know and and for me it definitely was patience 
Um, but uh, I learned a lot, yeah. and I thank God for that. <laughs> and I think, yeah, it's, like we said, you know, patient is not an easy thing mm -hmm. to do. It's not, like we said, you know, the day today things that might not go the way that we want them to mm -hmm, go yeah. and that we lose that suddenly we're okay and we're like oh my god something happened this just you can't you lose your patience like oh I love I can't mm -hmm. this person makes me lose my patience or I think this and this is me I could be so wrong sometimes we're so even impatient with God because we want something like mm -hmm. we want to ask him Lord, I want this, I need this, I want you to work mm -hmm. on this, and even like sometimes work on me on this way or something, mm -hmm. or it doesn't happen right away, and we are impatient mm -hmm. sometimes, and that's with God, and we need to remember that we need to be patient and wait for Him mm -hmm. in every aspect, and I think that's always also an aspect of the, the patient. It's not just being patient with people, being patient with your kids, being, you know, like on the day-to-day, um, activities is mm -hmm. also how in the way that God wants to work with you in your life you need to be patient and wait for him mm -hmm. amen well I found out that in in the Bible there's two words that are used when it's described um, the word patience um, there's two Greek words one of them is macrothumia 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 <laughs> is um, patience in respect to persons. And then the other one is uh, hupum, hupunon, hupunomi, which means endurance is putting up with things. So that was a big eye opener because the one that is used in the fruit of the spirit is actual uh, macrothumia, uh, which is the one that Galatians 5.22 is, is using. And it's a camp, uh, compound of formed by macros, or ma macros, macros, which means long, and thumos, which is passion or temper. Patience in Galatians 5.22 literally means long temper, in the sense of the ability to hold one's temper for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> the King James... Uh, translation is, is, is translated to long suffering. A patient person is able to endure much pain and suffering without complaining. A patient person is slow to anger as he waits for God to provide comfort and punish wrongdoing. Since it is a fruit of the Spirit, we can only possess macrothumia through the power and work of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Amen. And that was like, wow. You know, because it's, it's referring to the love for others. Yeah. And I was giving you, uh, when we started, an example of, you know, when you are at the light, you know, at the, at the light stop, you know, you're stopped there. And yeah, you may say, oh, I don't get impatient because the light doesn't turn green or, or you know, yeah, I'm, I'm good. But then what happens when the light does turn green and the person in front of you doesn't go? Then your, imp your impatience, uh, and you lose your patience with the person. And so now you're upset with the person. Now you're not upset with the light. No. So macrothumia, that's what it's speaking. You know, because mm -hmm. what you're doing is you're not being patient with the person which is in front of you, which is a soul that you can... <laughs> that that is God's creation and you know so many things were coming to my mind you know when I was going through this and I'm like oh my god what if what if I find the same person that I'm gonna be honking you know when I'm in the light what if I found them like in in church the following Sunday mm -hmm. you know I mean they're gonna look at me oh, and they're that like was that lady that was that was a crazy lady that was honking on me and now I look at her <sighs> Yeah. You know, I mean, those are the things that we don't think about, but it, but we need to, you yeah. know. <laughs> so we see them as, like we said, you know, we see them as day-to-day -day activities that we go through. Mm -hmm. Like you said, we're on the freeway this morning. And it's funny because <laughs> this morning I was, on the fr I was getting on the freeway and I see, you know, the cards that say Y low. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to get to, like, one of the third lanes or the fast lanes. Mm -hmm. But I see that the car driving me, and I'm like, where is the, I'm looking for the Y-Low, the big old truck. 
and I don't see anything. So I, I didn't want to really cut in front of behind him because mm -hmm. I didn't want to cause an accident with the Y load or something. But then I look and the truck and the Y load is like two miles behind the car that was saying that. And then I look at the guy that was driving that little I think it was probably I don't I don't know about car, but it was a small car like a Nissan or something, Sentra, mm -hmm. something small. The guy is with his headphones and texting, not paying attention to the guy and to what he was supposed to be really for my they need to be nearby so they could protect them. Mm -hmm. he, and I was like, Oh my god, this guy. So I was like there I lost my patience because I was <laughs> like and they say is the it's little things that we might think ah it's nothing it's just mm -hmm. yeah I didn't fight with him I didn't tell him anything but yeah I was like mm -hmm. my God, I was like what is he doing what is it he could cause an accident or something that mm -hmm. was the thing that came to mind that I'm like but as a you know so you you might see it as a Christian but like oh it's nothing mm -hmm. but it's a little thing that if you start putting things and like I say if we have a container Mm -hmm. and we start putting something, it's going to get filled up mm -hmm. pretty fast because mm -hmm. losing your patience, even though I could say, oh, yeah, I'm very patient. I have all the patience in the world. But if we really, like you say, you really look into it, you really analyze, like, no, there's yeah. little things that give me, mm -hmm. without noticing, I'm already like, okay, what's going on? Uh-huh, no, and like I said, I I think I always, like, kind of joke around, oh, patience is like my the my weakness and you know and i uh, you know but i always said like not a, like more like a joke mm -hmm. but when i started going through it and really cashing myself because that's one of the things that i do you know like if and i think all of us do yeah you're studying something and then you're like okay i want to you analyze it against uh -huh, you against what okay what is gonna you know how is that working in my life or you know and and when i started seeing all these little things, catching myself and all those little things, I was like, oh my God, Lord, I'm so sorry, Lord. Please forgive me. Because all this time, I'm thinking, oh yeah, I can listen to someone and, you know, I'm so patient. But in reality, you know, yeah, I can probably do. I do like to listen to people and listen to their, their problems. But there's also those people that come and they always tell you that like, I am, you know, their saddest story on and on and the same, the complaint. And then you're like, okay, okay. Um, and you try to encourage them and tell them how great they are because they are, but they continue. It's the same thing over and over, over and again. over. And then mm -hmm. that's when you start getting this signal here, like, oh, I don't know if I want to listen anymore. And it, could, it could be, I mean, like, <laughs> I mean, I God, I, sometimes I wonder with some people like, oh, God, are you testing me? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's, I mean, I, and I think we all gone through that. Because <laughs> I don't consider myself patient, but other people say, you're so patient. You are patient. I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, that. but I'm like, but then I see some people, oh my God, are you testing my patience? I don't I don't want to be that person. That's what I said. I don't want to be that person that, mm -hmm. to, you know, comes out wrong with somebody that makes somebody just because those little things that I can't control mm -hmm. and and it's it, like you said it's hard even mm -hmm. it's so hard you know like I want to say somebody does <laughs> doesn't put something back where it needs to go even though they they know mm -hmm. like, oh my god can they it's logic can they think to put it back or it's something like that sense. it's common <laughs> sense and we see it the sad thing is that we see it as normal. We don't see it as being impatient. We, we see uh -huh. it as day-to-day -day activities. But like I said, if we start filling up the container, mm -hmm. it's going to get filled up and it's going to overload. That's why I think when it gets in that overload, and mm -hmm. that is when it becomes the pro biggest problem, I think. Yeah, um, and, and you're right. We, we take it, we see it, I guess, so naturally. Mm -hmm. that we don't think is wrong but one of the things that you know that that I have to work on and you know because I'm still working on that is that okay whatever I'm going to answer whatever I'm gonna say I have to think of the results the next day mm -hmm. you know and when you are impatient of things you know you might just say no 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 just get mm -hmm. everything ready 
and you know and come on you know even like coming to church mm -hmm. you know I don't know how many of you do this but you know I'm like come on guys we need to be there everybody in the car blah 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 and it's, it's a good thing right 30, it's a 30 you have 10 minutes you uh -huh. have 10 minutes yeah you have two minutes three minutes <laughs> and then you're like you know yep. and then you know it's a, in, your, in your mind it's a good thing because you want them to hurry up and to get hurry to church up and get time. to church on time. It's a good thing. Mm -hmm. But there's other ways that you're able to do it. Yep. Instead of doing that. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, like we always say, when you come into the parking lot and it's holy ground, because once you step on it, you're like, ah. <laughs> 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 but, uh, um, but, you know, those are the things that I, I am like, you know, it's, in, in my perspective, okay, it's a good thing. I'm doing a good thing. I'm getting everybody ready in, in, you know, to come to church. But in reality, I am not. Correct. And because I'm making them upset. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and yeah, of course, thank God for holy ground here, but that might not work for everyone. Yep, that's it. <laughs> you know, and mm -hmm. I room someone's day, so I have to be more, I guess what I'm trying to say, we need to be more. The way uh, we come across uh -huh. to them, asking them to get ready to go to church. Yes. Hey, the way that we encourage them to. Mm -hmm be on time it has to be a different way to like come on come on let's go let's go it's uh -huh. time it's time um like there is everybody has i mean we could get to everybody in a specific way uh -huh. being impatient is not, it's not i don't think it works for anyone no mm -mm. um so and i think you know it's i'm gonna say it's normal that we lose our patience i'm like i don't i don't not say i'm not understand i'm not sure what the word that i want to use but it happens to everybody. Uh -huh. Even in the Bible, you see Moses, he lost his patience. Mm -hmm. And that made him not get into the holy, the, consequences. the, the promised life. Exactly. That was consequences. You uh -huh. have Peter, that he was a patient. He would get fired up right away, mm -hmm. but he had to change his ways. Mm -hmm. Once you know, the Lord told him, hey, mm -hmm. this is how you need to act. You need to be more like me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we see many different... Um, in the Bible, you know, situations that mm -hmm. show us, you know, if you lose your patience, there's consequences. Mm -hmm. So you need, so if we lose our patience, we know we have something coming. Uh -huh. And we know that we're not 100% with the spirit, mm -hmm. which is everything in one. Uh -huh. So we have to, you know, make sure that we work. We, we can't put, say, oh, no, no, patience is not for me. I don't like <laughs> it. I'm going to remove that from there. No. And it says right there, you know, like if you really translate, literally, mm -hmm. it's long suffering. So uh -huh. it is. It is. God is not saying it's easy. Mm -mm. It's saying that you suffer mm -hmm. because you have to, you know, like you said, he made us all different. Like, you know, my, somebody used to say, I have five kids, mm -hmm. just like my fingers. They're all different. Uh -huh. So you have to learn to deal with each person mm -hmm. on how they are. You know, mm -hmm. don't let them. And I guess I said, don't let them get to you, uh -huh. so you don't lose that patient. Mm -hmm. Learn to love them. Learn to put up, and always, you know, if you want, don't com like don't complain. Go to God. Say, give me the patience. Uh -huh. And I don't know, but I don't know. So I always heard like, don't ask for patience because then He'll give you this test. Yeah, a, a test. I'm like, I don't know. So <laughs> how how that works? We are so, uh -huh. but just you know, just got to give you the wisdom, the ability to go through life and put up. Mm -hmm. and get to know each every person so you get have that mm -hmm. you know in your strain every day yeah like if you know like that's for me like if you want to get everyone on time you know like talk to them and pray to god like give work you know give me words that that are sweet <laughs> and that everybody's gonna be like okay mom yeah, there you know. has to be something. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I mean, maybe I'm gonna say it's gonna sound wrong. Maybe you have to tell them if we go to church on time today, we could go out to lunch and do this after right uh -huh. away. Uh -huh. I don't know if it might sound wrong, but hey, it might work. It might work. So it's just, but you're not like, hey, hurry up, let's go, let's go. You're not, mm -hmm. but you, you, you know, encourage them to get up yes. early, get ready early because mm -hmm. you're gonna take them to their favorite place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and uh, that is, I, don't, I don't see anything wrong with it, you know. Um, okay, so it says, so let's think, when we are impatient, do we make people go faster? <laughs> no. I think, <laughs> and I put 95% of the time is a no. <laughs> I think we put them in it once. If, it's, if anybody is like me, if somebody's <laughs> trying to, you know, move you or, or they lose your patience with you, I go into like a slow mo 
motion that I'm like, I kind of block everything they're telling me and I just don't listen anymore. <laughs> and maybe that's, uh, maybe it's wrong, but if somebody's losing their patience with me, mm -hmm. I kind of just, somebody, my mom used to say, I could be telling you all the time this, I could tell you this, <laughs> you don't get mad, you don't do this, but it just goes one year and it goes to the other one. And it's not that I'm not listening, I'm trying not to get upset. Mm -hmm. So I think if we, you know, when we have try to move people faster, they go into a mode that they're just like, I'm gonna do it my own way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I have that problem when people are impatient with me, especially because I'm like the worst co-pilot. Uh, if you tell me to give you directions and you know, even if I have the phone, I, I, I'm super bad. Like, uh, you know, my husband always tells me, you ha you're supposed to tell me, oh, in, in, in the next block, there's two blocks, there's two lights, and then you're gonna turn left, or you know, you have to tell me ahead of time. And you know, and as soon as I miss it, I, it's like I, I go blind, I cannot even see anymore. Right. <laughs> cause I, you know, cause you know, I, that's, that's me. When someone loses the patience with me, I, like I, I get you blind. You block yourself. I, bl uh -huh. I mm -hmm. block myself and I don't know what to do. It's like, ah, uh, you know, but, um, so it's not a good thing. Uh, <laughs> so, next thing is, if, if we're thinking godly, we need to think of the ending result. So everything that we do is gonna have a consequence. Mm -hmm. um, if I react like this, this is, this is, this is what's going to happen. So we need to start being patient with one another because God is patient with us. And then mm -hmm. we're gonna start with a scripture. The God that we serve is patient. God is slow to anger, Exodus 34, six. And he passed in front of Moses proclaiming, the Lord, the Lord, the compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness. Mm -hmm. Okay, Nehemiah 9, seven. You are the Lord God who chose Abram and brought him out of Ur of the Chaldeans and named him Abraham. You found his heart faithful to you and you made a covenant with him to give to his descendants the land of the Canaanites, Hittites, Amorites, Perizzites, Jebusites, and Jergaisites. Sorry, for, I'm not pronouncing them correctly. You have kept your promise because you are righteous Amen. so god's patience god's patience hopes to lead us to repentance mm -hmm. you know so i mean we're serving this god that is full of love and he's faithful and he's righteous you know and 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 we have his spirit we need to have that in us too mm -hmm. you know and um then it says god's patient hopes to lead us to repentance and that's Romans 2 1 4 you therefore have no excuse you who pass judgment on someone else for at whatever point you judge another you are condemning yourself because you do pass judgment do the same things now we know that God's judgment against those who does such things is based on truth so when you are mere human being pass judgment on them and yet do the same things do you think you will escape God's judgment? Or do you show contempt for the riches of his kindness, forbearance, and patience, not realizing that God's kindness is intended, intended to lead you to repentance? And that scripture just got me into whatever we're doing, like, 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 like the example that I gave you, we are so impatient with someone that the next day we might be testifying to. Correct. You know? And here, you know, it's telling us we can, we cannot pass judgment to everyone like, oh my God, why are you so slow? Or, you know, why are you doing this? And, you know, and losing our, our patience with this person when God is so, oh, so, so patient, patient with, with us. us. He had patience with us. Uh -huh. he, he, you know, he gave us, one, he saved us. He mm -hmm, gave us mm -hmm. the opportunity to repent and to accept him as, mm -hmm, as mm -hmm. our savior. And he was patient with us, so mm -hmm. now we need to be patient with those around us. Mm -hmm. Like uh, like you were saying, you know, maybe what if that person that I'm being impatient, that I'm telling them something, mm -hmm. I'm going to be testifying them tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the, um, on the, in your household, if one of the spouses or one of your kids or somebody is not a Christian, and you are testifying, you're saying, I'm a Christian, uh -huh. and I want you to go to church with me. I want you to get to know Christ. I want you, but then 
as a family, you were really quick to lose the patience with them. Mm -hmm. Well, kind of you're saying, you're like, yeah, I need to be patient, I need to show them love so they could understand what the love of Christ is. They need to see it in me. So mm -hmm. I need to reflect it. And yes, like I said, there's um, things that we can control mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. happen. Mm -hmm. But when we're trying to be a testifier, live and testify for them. Uh -huh. And they, what if they come to church one day and they just happen to be preaching about the patience of the Holy Spirit? Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, my, say, mom. my mom <laughs> doesn't have patience with uh -huh. me. And she says she's a Christian. You know, it's so we need, that's where we need to be really careful. Like, Yes. With our family, with mm -hmm. everybody that's around that, that we're living tes uh, testimony with them. Mm -hmm. Every day we have to be patient with them. Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. you know, sh even maybe sometimes people could see it. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. don't have to be talking to them every day about Christ, mm -hmm. but your ac attitude, the way you act with them, even though they know, because some people know that they're testing you. That yeah. they're putting you through that little thing that you can lose the patience with them. Mm -hmm. And you could yell at them or you could do something that is just going to, you know, tell them. Like I'm going to say, you're going to tell them you're doing this, 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 and this. Mm -hmm. But if you're, you know, you ask God to allow you to help to control yourself. Because mm -hmm. one of the other ones is self-control. So mm -hmm. they go to the hand, you know, one by one. Yeah. If you are able to control yourself and be patient with that person and not you know, don't let them show that they're getting to you. That's mm -hmm. kind of like, because this is suffering. Mm -hmm. It doesn't say that it's not going to be hard. Yeah. You are going to suffer. It's a long mm -hmm. suffering. Mm -hmm. But if you don't show it, you could be a testimony because they, they'll see it. Mm -hmm. You know what? That person, no matter what they do to that person, mm -hmm. they never get, they never lose a temper. They never get mad. They never just, they don't show it. So they have something special. Mm -hmm. And that's when you could come out and say, this I have the spirit of the Lord, and mm -hmm. He's the one that helps me be like this. And you could be a testimony and tell them right there, mm -hmm. who's the one that's going to make them like that, that's mm -hmm. going to allow them to be like that. Because sometimes, I mean, nowadays is, I mean, not talk, not talking about the spirit, but somebody who doesn't know Christ, they could lose patience like that. They mm -hmm. could just go off at somebody. I mean, that you've seen it. You go to the store sometimes, you see somebody, a lady, just. Mm -hmm. screaming at the cashier for no reason like mm -hmm. or they don't want to wait in line because you're in a hurry you're and it's just crazy you know things that you think oh my god you know mm -hmm. but if you have Christ you have to be that living testimony and have that self-control that patience with other people so maybe you're not you might not be speaking to them or telling them with mm -hmm. words but your actions are speaking a lot louder than Mm -hmm. what you're telling them yeah and just to circle back and, and what you said with your kids and family that's one of the things that we just have to always remember that that's our main mission field that's mm -hmm. where it starts yep um, and yeah that's really important to know that sometimes is, um, we don't like we don't really see it as you know as that's like where you start um, but you know that is that is where we there's need to be more careful. There's a saying in Spanish. Uh, I'm gonna try try to translate it to English. Mm -hmm. Hope it makes sense. But it says that you cannot be the light the light outside in the world and be the darkness in your house. Yeah. Like be the like oh outside you be like oh like you said you mm -hmm. know I'm Christ like and talk to everybody. Mm -hmm. But then in my house I'm doing the opposite. So. Yeah. Telling my kids. You're in my last nerve. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I have said it, and I'm so sorry, but I have. Um, Second Peter 3, 8, 9 says, But do not forget this one thing, dear friends. With the Lord, a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like a day. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. Amen. Um, so, I mean, that is, you know, like when we are, like you said in the beginning, sometimes mm -hmm. we're even impatient with the things that we're asking God, but we need to know this, that He is, you know, so patient with us. It's not that He's He's late <laughs> or He doesn't no. want to do it. It's just He knows His time. Exactly. You know, He's and times, the way that He works is perfect. Mm -hmm. yeah. His time is perfect for everything. Everything happens on the, you know, on the on his will, 
by his time. And, mm -hmm. and sometimes that's where we, like I say, that's where we grow impatient, that we want things to go really fast. And yeah. it doesn't work that way. No. So, and another important thing is that, you know, is he has so, so much mercy on us, you know, and, um, and one of the things that, <laughs> that he has us here, you know, biggest purpose for us as, as believers is to share his word, share the gospel, because he doesn't want anyone to, to perish, you know? And we ca can be one of those little um, matches. That you don't everything. You know, I'm, I'm gonna say something that just came to my mind, that sometimes, you know, we have been talking to somebody about Christ and we want them to come to church and for some reason, we can't get them to come here. Mm -hmm. We can't get them to, list, to listen. And we're trying to testify. We're trying to tell them about the word. We're trying sometimes to even go to their house and give them a Bible study, but they just won't come. Mm -hmm. And you kind of, even <laughs> when you're trying to do the work and trying to share the, you know, the love of Christ, you're losing their patience because they're like, oh my God, this person is never going to listen to me. They're uh -huh. never going to come to church. But we need to learn to wait and be mm -hmm. patient just like he was patient with us. Like we said, we could talk, we could tell him about the, you know, we share mm -hmm. his love with him, yeah. mm -hmm. tell him he's the one that loves you, he's your savior and everything, mm -hmm. but he's gonna do the work, mm -hmm. not us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really important, just continue to love on people and continue to show them God's love. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that's, that's all we need to just do. Just wait on him, <laughs> you know, continue to do what the Lord is telling you, what he's putting in your heart mm -hmm. with, you know, talking about his work with everybody else, and he's gonna do it on his time. Mm -hmm. Eventually, when you less, maybe it's not going to be here at the church that you go, mm -hmm. but they might go somewhere else, and you, you'll get a call one day. You know what? I was baptized. I'm coming to church this, but they're like, mm -hmm. okay, glory be to God, mm -hmm. because it was on His time, not in our time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's true. <laughs> I I heard this, and I'm sorry. I I don't want to take a lot of time, but I heard this testimony of this um, uh, pastor's wife that she was saying that. Her neighbor was always so mean to her, and uh, so she said, "You know what? I'm gonna stop praying for her. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna pray for her because she's just such a mean neighbor, and she will pray for all her neighbors except that one because that one was so mean to her." And then as time passed, I guess she found the daughter of that neighbor, and she said, "Hey, um, I just wanna share." Uh, oh, she said, uh, my mom said hi to you. And she goes, what? She used to be so mean to me. <laughs> Why is she saying hi? And she said, oh, you, um, you didn't know my mom accepted Jesus. And, she, you know, she's just so happy and, you know, and all that. And then uh, the, the lady that's testifying, the pastor's wife, she said, well, I couldn't take credit for that because <laughs> <laughs> I, I was not praying, praying for her. her. <laughs> so, so we just need to know that everything is in, in, in God's, God's time. time. Anyway, we're going to end here, and um, we'll continue uh, our next, uh, our next uh, characteristic of the Spirit, which is going to be forbearance um, the next time we, we meet. So I want to thank everyone, and I hope that, you know, this, was, this chat, you know, was um, a blessing to you, because I know it was a, a blessing to me, like I'm telling you. The spirit of the Lord was just like <laughs> on me, <laughs> opening my eyes and and you know learning more every day and and I, I thank God for that. I thank God for for His patience with me. <laughs> mm -hmm. So thank you so much for being with us again. And um, we just um, ask you to please stay afterwards for our um, announcements mm -hmm. that are will be once this is um, our chat is over. Please stand, stay tuned so you don't miss them and you can be part of them. So we just want to thank you again, and may the Lord uh, bless you, and we'll see you next time. Amen. <laughs>